Welcome to the Chemistry One GCSE Science Controlled Assessment with Mr. Dosantos. Ensure all the stools are tucked under the table and out of the way. We will be working with Bunsen burners, so if you have long hair, make sure that it is tied up safely. Very well done, Mr. Dosantos. You will need an electronic scale, a flask of lime water, a beaker of copper carbonate, zinc carbonate, and calcium carbonate. You will need a test tube with a bung and delivery tube. A standard issue high school Bunsen burner. A clamp and stand. And a measuring cylinder. You will also need three boiling tubes. And a boiling tube rack. You will also need a black marker pen and a sticky note to draw on, a stopwatch timer to time your experiment, and three pieces of filter paper. Let's not forget goggles to protect our eyes, and a box of safety matches. Let's get started by measuring out 25 millilitres of lime water into the measuring cylinder. Precision measurements are of utmost importance. Always replace the lid to flasks holding chemicals. Pour the 25 millilitres of lime water into one of the boiling tubes. We will be measuring out our carbonate onto a piece of filter paper. Place the filter paper on top of the electronic scales and then zero the scales. Let's start with copper carbonate. Using a spatula, gently measure out exactly 2 grams of copper carbonate onto the filter paper. Now we should carefully pour the copper carbonate from the filter paper into the test tube. Use your fingers to crease the filter paper into a funnel and then gently pour into the test tube. Be very careful not to spill any. Every last bit must be removed from the filter paper into the test tube. Now secure the bung and the delivery tube to the top of the test tube. Carefully clamp the test tube containing the copper carbonate into a clamp and stand. Adjust the height of the clamp and stand such that the delivery tube is submerged in the lime water. Clamp the test tube near the top to leave enough space to safely heat the carbonate. Get your sticky note and using your marker pen carefully draw a black cross. Place the black cross behind the boiling tube containing lime water. The black cross should be visible through the lime water.
To safely light a Bunsen burner, make sure the oxygen hole is fully closed. Turn on the gas and then strike a match to light the flame. To heat our carbonate, we will need to open the oxygen hole on the Bunsen burner. Ensure your stopwatch is set to zero. Place the Bunsen burner underneath the copper carbonate and at the same time start the stopwatch. As the copper carbonate thermally decomposes, carbon dioxide will bubble through the lime water. The carbon dioxide will slowly turn the lime water cloudy. When you can no longer see the X through the lime water, press stop on the stopwatch. Record this time in your table of results and then get ready to repeat the experiment.